Fundamentals of Nursing 1 Question 1. Using the principles of standard precautions, the nurse would wear gloves in what nursing interventions? A. Providing a back massage B. Feeding a client C. Providing hair care D. Providing oral hygiene Answer. D. Providing oral hygiene. Question 2. The nurse is preparing to take vital sign in an alert client admitted to the hospital with dehydration secondary to vomiting and diarrhea. What is the best method used to assess the client's temperature? A. Oral. B. Axillary. C. Radial. D. Eat sensitive tape. Answer, B. Axillary. Question 3. A nurse obtained a client's pulse and found the rate to be above normal. The nurse document this findings as A. Tachypnea B. Hyperpyrexia C. Arrhythmia D. Tachycardia Answer, D. Tachycardia. Question 4. Which of the following actions should the nurse take to use a wide base support when assisting a client to get up in a chair? A. Bend at the waist and place arms under the client's arms and lift. B. Face the client, bend knees and place hands on client's forearm and lift. C. Spread his or her feet apart. D. Tighten his or her pelvic muscles. Answer. B. Face the client, bend knees and place hands on client's forearm and lift. Question 5. A client had oral surgery following a motor vehicle accident. The nurse assessing the client finds the skin flushed and warm. Which of the following would be the best method to take the client's body temperature? A. Oral. B. Axillary. C. Arterial line. D. Rectal. Answer. B. Axillary. Question 6. A client who is unconscious needs frequent mouth care. When performing a mouth care, the best position of a client is A. Fowler's position B. Side lying C. Supine D. Trendelenburg Answer B. Side lying. Question 7. A client is hospitalized for the first time. Which of the following actions ensure the safety of the client? A. Keep unnecessary furniture out of the way. B. Keep the lights on at all time. C. Keep side rails up at all time. D. Keep all equipment out of view. Answer, C. Keep side rails up at all time. Question 8. A walk-in client enters into the clinic with a chief complaint of abdominal pain and diarrhea. The nurse takes the client's vital sign hereafter. What phrase of nursing process is being implemented here by the nurse? A. Assessment. B. Diagnosis. C. Planning. D. Implementation
Answer. A. Assessment. Question 9. It is best described as a systematic, rational method of planning and providing nursing care for individual, families, group and community. A. Assessment. B. Nursing process. C. Diagnosis. D. Implementation. Answer. B. Nursing process. Question 10. Exchange of gases takes place in which of the following organ? A. Kidney. B. Lungs. C. Liver. D. Heart. Answer. B. Lungs. Question 11. The chamber of the heart that receives oxygenated blood from the lungs is the A. Left atrium. B. Right atrium. C. Left ventricle. D. Right ventricle. Answer. A. Left atrium. Question 12. A muscular in large pouch or sack that lies slightly to the left which is used for temporary storage of food. A. Gallbladder. B. Urinary bladder. C. Stomach. D. Lungs. Answer, C. Stomach. Question 13. The ability of the body to defend itself against scientific invading agents such as bacteria, toxin, viruses and foreign body. A. Hormones. B. Secretion. C. Immunity. D. Glands. Answer, C. Immunity. Question 14. Hormones secreted by islets of Langerhans. A. Progesterone. B. Testosterone. C. Insulin. D. Hemoglobin. Answer. C. Insulin. Question 15. It is a transparent membrane that focuses the light that enters the eyes to the retina. A. Lens. B. Sclera. C. Cornea. D. Pupils. Answer, C. Cornea. Question 16. Which of the following is included in Norm's theory? A. Maintenance of a sufficient intake of air. B. Self-perception. C. Love and belonging. D. Physiologic needs. Answer, A. Maintenance of a sufficient intake of air. Question 17. Which of the following cluster of data belong to Maslow's hierarchy of needs? A. Love and belonging. B. Physiologic needs. C. Self-actualization. D. All of the above. Answer, D. All of the above. Question 18. This is characterized by severe symptoms relatively of short duration. A. Chronic illness. 
B. Acute illness. C. Pain. D. Syndrome. Answer. B. Acute illness. Question 19. Which of the following is the nurse's role in the health promotion? A. Health risk appraisal. B. Teach client to be effective health consumer. C. Worksite wellness. D. None of the above. Answer. B. Teach client to be effective health consumer. Question 20. It is described as a collection of people who share some attributes of their lives. A. Family. B. Illness. C. Community. D. Nursing. Answer. C. Community. Question 21. 5 teaspoon is equivalent to how many milliliters ml? A. 30 milliliters. B. 25 milliliters. C. 12 milliliters. D. 22 milliliters. Answer. B. 25 milliliters. Question 22. 1,800 milliliters is equal to how many liters? A. 1.8. B. 18,000. C. 180. D. 2,800. Answer. A. 1.8. Question 23. Which of the following is the abbreviation of drops? A. GTT. B. GTTS. C. DP. D. Drive. Answer. B. GTTS. Question 24. The abbreviation for micro drop is A. Micro GTT. B. GTT. C. MDR. D. MGTS. Answer. A. Micro GTT. Question 25. Which of the following is the meaning of PRN? A. Win advice. B. Immediately. C. When necessary. D. Now. Answer. C. When necessary. Question 26. Which of the following is the appropriate meaning of CBR? A. Cardiac boardroom. B. Complete bathroom. C. Complete bedrest. D. Complete boardroom. Answer. C. Complete bedrest. Question 27. 1 teaspoon is equals to how many drops? A. 15. B. 60. C. 10. D. 30. Answer. B. 60. Question 28. 20 cc is equal to how many ml? A. 2. 
B. 20. C. 2000. D. 20,000. Answer. B. 20. Question 29. One cup is equals to how many ounces? A. 8. B. 80. C. 800. D. 8000. Answer. A. 8. Question 30. The nurse must verify the client's identity before administration of medication. Which of the following is the safest way to identify the client? A. Ask the client his name. B. Check the client's identification band. C. State the client's name aloud and have the client repeat it. D. Check the room number. Answer. A. Ask the client his name. Question 31. The nurse prepares to administer buccal medication. The medicine should be placed. A. On the client's skin. B. Between the client's cheeks and gums. C. Under the client's tongue. D. On the client's conjunctiva. Answer. B. Between the client's cheeks and gums. Question 32. The nurse administers cleansing enema. The common position for this procedure is. A. Sims left lateral. B. Dorsal recumbent. C. Supine. D. Prone. Answer. A. Sims left lateral. Question 33. A client complains of difficulty of swallowing when the nurse try to administer capsule medication. Which of the following measures the nurse should do? A. Dissolve the capsule in a glass of water. B. Break the capsule and give the content with an applesauce. C. Check the availability of a liquid preparation. D. Crash the capsule and place it under the tongue. Answer. C. Check the availability of a liquid preparation. Question 34. Which of the following is the appropriate route of administration for insulin? A. Intramuscular. B. Intradermal. C. Subcutaneous. D. Intravenous. Answer. C. Subcutaneous. Question 35. The nurse is ordered to administer ampicillin capsule tip PO. The nurse should give the medication. A. Three times a day early. B. Three times a day after meals. C. Two times a day by mouth. D. Two times a day before meals. Answer. A. Three times a day early. Question 36. Back care is best described as A. Caring for the back by means of massage B. Washing of the back C. Application of cold compress at the back D. Application of hot compress at the back Answer A. 
caring for the back by means of massage. Question 37. It refers to the preparation of the bed with a new set of linens. A. Bed bath. B. Bed making. C. Bed shampoo. D. Bed lining. Answer. B. Bed making. Question 38. Which of the following is the most important purpose of hand washing? A. To promote hand circulation. B. To prevent the transfer of microorganism. C. To avoid touching the client with a dirty hand. D. To provide comfort. Answer. B. To prevent the transfer of microorganism. Question 39. What should be done in order to prevent contaminating of the environment in bed making? A. Avoid funding soiled linens. B. Strip all linens at the same time. C. Finished both sides at the time. D. Embrace soiled linen. Answer. A. Avoid funding soiled linens. Question 40. The most important purpose of cleansing bed bath is A. To cleanse, refresh and give comfort to the client who must remain in bed. B. To expose the necessary parts of the body. C. To develop skills in bed bath. D. To check the body temperature of the client in bed. Answer, A. To cleanse, refresh and give comfort to the client who must remain in bed. Question 41. Which of the following technique involves the sense of sight? A. Inspection. B. Palpation. C. Percussion. D. Auscultation. Answer, A. Inspection. Question 42. The first techniques used examining the abdomen of a client is A. Palpation. B. Auscultation. C. Percussion. D. Inspection. Answer, D. Inspection. Question 43. A technique in physical examination that is used to assess the movement of air through the tracheobronchial tree. A. Palpation. B. Auscultation. C. Inspection. D. Percussion. Answer, B. Auscultation. Question 44. An instrument used for auscultation is A. Percussion hammer B. Audiometer C. Stethoscope D. Sphygmomanometer Answer, C. Stethoscope. Question 45. Resonance is best described as A. Sounds created by air-filled lungs. B. Short, high pitch and thudding. C. Moderately loud with musical quality. D. Drum-like. Answer, A. 
sounds created by air-filled lungs. Question 46. The best position for examining the rectum is A. Prone B. Sims C. Knee chest D. Lithotomy Answer. C. Knee chest. Question 47. It refers to the manner of walking. A. Gait. B. Range of motion. C. Flexion and extension. D. Hopping. Answer. A. Gate. Question 48. The nurse asked the client to read the Snellen chart. Which of the following is tested? A. Optic. B. Olfactory. C. Oculomotor. D. Drockler. Answer, A. Optic. Question 49. Another name for knee chest position is A. Genudorsal. B. Genupectoral. C. Lithotomy. D. Sims. Answer, B. Genupectoral. Question 50. The nurse prepare an injection that is irritating to the subcutaneous tissue. Which of the following is the best action in order to prevent tracking of the medication? A. Use a small gauge needle. B. Apply ice on the injection site. C. Administer at a 45 degrees angle. D. Use the Z-Track technique. Answer, D. Use the Z-Track technique. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like and share.